Hey there. Um, so I'm really excited to share this with you. I have to admit I cheated and I, I drank one already or maybe two. Um, this is Old Chubb Scotch Ale by Oscar Blues Brewing Company. So this was part of the uh, variety pack that I picked up. This is 8% um, alcohol by volume, so it's in the um, strong Scotch Ale category. Um, and it says on it, it's a virtual planetoid. Um, so this is going to be a big hitter. It's like Sputnik. Awesome. So we'll give this a shot. Um, so I like Scotch Ales a lot, and one of the reasons I was really excited about this variety pack was that I had tried a smoked Scotch Ale recently, and I'm usually kind of, I don't even know, leery of, of smoked ales because I've had a couple that, couple that tasted just like uh, a bottle of liquid smoke, and it's just too much. Um, but uh, this beer uh, that I tried was amazing, so now I, am I on this new I want to try Scotch Ales, more Scotch Ales um, kick. So let's give this a shot. Ouch. I keep forgetting not to cross my legs. That knee hurts. Okay, anyway. Um, smell. Hmm. Lots of maltiness and coffeeness. A little bit of smokiness. Um, just a light smokiness. Hmm. Um, color, this is a pretty dark brown. Um, I have the light behind it, and I can almost not see through it. Maybe like the last third of the glass uh, has a little bit of a, of a red hue to it. So definitely a dark brown, um, and it says often with ruby highlights. So bam, right on target there. Um, it looks like it's pretty crystal clear um, as far as like sediment or haze goes on. Um, it looks like it's pretty clear. It did pour with an okay head, but um, I don't think it retained it. Um, but nonetheless, uh, let's jump into flavor. Gosh, there is so much yumminess here. I think one of the reasons that I like this style is that um, it has a mouthfeel that goes with it. It's like a, um, it's, it's kind of, I don't even know. I jump ahead of myself. So let's get to flavor. So there's just a ton of caramel um, going on here. It's, um, uh, gosh, I mean, it's, it's, it's sweet. Um, it's malty. It's smoky. It's, um, it has some bitterness to it that, and it has like a little bit, little hint of a metallic taste. Um, it's, it really just has so much stuff going on in a, in, in a really well balanced way. Mm. I don't, and I always wonder like right where that threshold might be. And apparently it's not at 8%. Some of these beers, um, that, that can have a higher, ABV, um, the style manual will warn that you can, that you can taste alcohol in them. Um, and so I don't taste alcohol at this level. Um, and I have in like, I don't know, actually there are some, and it's not even an alcohol percentage necessarily. There are some like that, that just have like an overwhelming, um, taste to it or, um, sometimes like a burn to it. Um, this does not, it's just a nice, nice flavor, nice body. It has like this like low level fruity sweetness to it that kind of reminds me of um I, I gosh, I don't even know. It makes me think of like a custard. Um but like um mm, or a raisiny dessert some like a bread pudding with, with, um, raisins in it. Anyway, um, and, uh, but it's not sweet in a way that makes it unpleasant. You know, it has enough dryness and bitterness to it that it really balances out there. So it's kind of like really impactful, um, maltiness, but then there's a nice dryness to follow that up to kind of counter that. Otherwise, if I feel like if a beer has any one of those qualities too much, um, I find it, harder to drink, but this is nicely balanced. Um, 
so um, definitely a, a fuller bodied beer. Um, it's not super carbonated, um, but it has like a, it has a mouth presence to it. I mean, it's kind of thick. I don't want to say it's syrupy because that implies sweetness. Um, you know, sometimes metallic, and I think that that's a, like a tongue feel more than anything. Um, you know, so it just has this, this presence really, um, that makes you kind of feel the flavor, um, which is really, really very enjoyable. Um, it's very smooth, um, and, um, just a great beer. Um, so the, the history for this particular style is that, that it's also known as a wee heavy. Um, it's fermented at cooler temperatures than most ales, um, with a lower hopping rate, um, resulting in clean, intense malt flavors. Well suited for the region of origin with an abundant malt and cool fermentation and aging temperatures. Um, so it seems like it's probably like the halfway point between, um, ale temperatures and aging, uh, and lagering. Um, and so that's probably why the flavors are so intense, because it's let to rest on that stuff so long, it just gets this super bold flavor, uh, and then higher alcohol content. Um, but um, uh, the hops, which are not native to Scotland and are formerly expensive to import, were kept to a minimum. So that also kind of explains why a lot of these Scotch ales tend not to be very hoppy, and, and um, definitely on the multi side. Um, but... Um, you know, as I drink it, I'm thinking of, like, these kind of English-style desserts, and so it seems appropriate for the region as well. Um, but, um, awesome. There is the Scotch Ale. Um, I had, um, a friend, uh, uh Jean-Pierre recommend, um, uh, that I try the 1050, 1050, excuse me, by, um, Oscar Blues, and so I was really excited about this variety pack, and I feel like half the beers I didn't particularly care for, but half of them were, um, pretty good. Um, I liked Dale's Pale Ale, and I really like this Scotch Ale. Um, so, um, that's my review of my Oscar Variety Pack. I would love to hear if you have tried, um, Old Chubb Scotch Ale, and what your thoughts were. Um, and then, do you like Scotch Ales? I want to know, um, you know, I feel like they're probably more of a specialty item, and I spend a lot of time at BevMo that... Um, you know, bless them, um, have a really large variety of beers that um, involve a lot of different regions. So I can go in and, and they have it categorized um, by, you know, Belgian ales, German ales. Um, I mean, there's an Icelandic section where I can get an Icelandic por porter um, and a toasted porter. Anyway, um, uh, they have um, English, so they have Scottish and Irish in there. Um, you know, it's it's really great. And so if I'm looking for something a little bit different from the standard American craft, um, you know, it's totally easy for me to get. And that's one of the reasons that I'm thankful for the Bay Area. Um, so for those of you that are in areas where you're a little bit more limited by the distribution, um, have you even seen a Scotch Ale on your shelves? Um, and this is actually out of Colorado. Um, and so that gives me hope that we're going to find more um, floating around. So check your shelves, read what they've got coming out, and see if you can find one. Experiment with it and share with me if you find others that you think I should try. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.